who apparently was not very engaged in academic lessons, but she loved to draw. And she was in the back of the room when he was there with the teacher. And this girl was just drawing her heart out. And the teacher went up to her and said, what are you drawing? And she said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher looked at her and said, honey, nobody knows what God looks like. She said, well, they will in a minute. <laughs> it's a chance to take a risk to be novel and not be criticized for, for taking that chance. Too many of our kids don't have that, as this cartoon illustrates. A D minus, a B plus, Ugh. that proves it, ma'am. We all have different thresholds of pain. <laughs> Do any of you have kids who, if they get a B plus, they think they fail? Fess up. Or you think they fail? Do any of you have kids who get a D minus and they say, "Hey, still passing"? <laughs> <laughs> those kids are fun. I love those kids. Um, I don't know. I think it's healthier to have a D minus whatever attitude than a B plus I failed attitude. And I've seen too many high ability kids, gifted or just high achievers who won't do anything unless they know they'll get it right the first time. Because when they're little kids, that's easy to do. When they get older, that's tougher to do. Right now I'm teaching ninth grade kids in South Carolina just a couple days a month. They're ninth graders going to college full time. They're high school students. They'll get a high school diploma. But starting the second semester, they're enrolled in college classes as well as advanced placement and other classes. So they'll have a high school diploma and college degree almost simultaneously. I could not believe the pain, I guess is the best word, some of these kids felt when they got the first B in their life. And then many of them, it wasn't the first time. They're taking a college class as 13 year olds and they're in tears because they caught a B. How did we get to the point where that's a bad grade? Uh, and I've just seen that so endemic in our culture and our society that we don't ask, what did you learn? All we ask is, what did you earn? And that's asking the wrong question. So, here's something I'm going to say. To